And look where I find myself. Can you see these guys around me? Look, they're all hiding here in the shade. Well, I, I'm hiding here in the shade. Then they came over to check me out. Wow, this is such a nice place. There are nice, um, what are they? Pine trees, yeah. Beautiful. Wow, so lovely. So what I'm going to do is, now, I'll stop here because I'm tired, and make a sandwich, and a nice tea as well. Here, you've got, I think this is called Dock, and usually you have stinging nettles here, and you have Dock here. So if you sting yourself with these nettles, then you just rub, I'm not sure if this is, I think this is Dock, you rub this on your wound and it will stop the itching. So if you get stung by a stinging nettle, use these things. Should be loads of dock around the stinging nettle. Going to have my sandwich, maybe some olives, and a biscuit, and my tea. I think the dog knows I'm here. He can smell me. I don't know how the dog can smell me. There's a smell. There's a sewer smell here. No wonder they call the place Black Water. Oh, there's a lovely little stream down there. Oh, it's so nice. The sound is really nice. Oh, beautiful. I wonder what this plant is. I don't know, there's a kind of sewer in this area. I don't know, it just stinks. Stinks of poo and pee all mixed up together. Uh, I think I can't stop here to eat. I just had the tea and then just felt sick. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to continue driving. Poor. So many of them, all under the shade. Hello. Many of you. Ugh, I lick my hand. How oh, disgusting. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, they're all smelling me. <laughs> Amazing, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. And look where I find myself. Can you see these guys around me? Look, they're all hiding here in the shade. Well, I, I'm hiding here in the shade. Then they came over to check me out. Here they are, look. They're all here. Look how massive they are. They're so huge. And I promised them all that I'm going to become a vegan and I'm not going to eat any meat anymore, okay? I promise. Oh, he's licking my head. What are you doing? <laughs> she just licked my head or he licked my head. Who was it? Eh? <laughs> Look at them. So that's a tree and farmhouse. And here, there's a house here. And here, there's another house. I'll show you. Yeah, there's another house. Basically, you're not on your own. Another house. Another house there. Yeah, there's another house. In half a mile, turn left. 
another house there. Full of houses. You're not on your own. And it's not that nice. It's rough. They've got a rough road here. This is a private road that I suppose... No, and here, there's that bloody secret place. I don't know what the f*** it is. That's the, the... It used to be an airfield. See, this is the road. Ah, I can't, if you have to take this road every day, it's all concrete, but it's the white concrete. It doesn't have the grip, like tarmac. So can you imagine in, if, if there's snow or if it's wet? This is all a private road, so that means you have to pay with it and all the other people have to pay with it together. You see, this is some, I don't know, secret place, I don't know what it is. It's a security place. Anyway, I haven't seen the... the woods or the forest, but... You know, I just don't like the feel of it, anyway. stop now again um, the house that I saw it looks really nice it looks really nice on Zoopla you know the website that shows all the all the houses to rent or to buy it looks great but but there are houses next to it you know I thought you know I was gonna be on my own but it's not like that. You have many houses. Well, not many. You have three houses, but um, and they're they're huge houses. The house that that's, that's for sale looks tiny. It looks like a midget compared to the other houses. So I don't know. I don't want to be like the midget or the smallest house out of the the whole group of about five houses. Um, the place is. I don't know if you guys understand, but it's rough. It's very hot. It's very rough, uh, harsh kind of. Whereas, for example, I've seen other places, for example, like Dartmoor, inside the uh, Dartmoor National Park, which aren't so rough. They're, they've got ni a nice soft feel. You know, some water flowing through, a few wooded areas, and <clears throat> the people there are quite nice as well. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really like the feel of Taunton. Had uh, it, one, it was too busy. Two, it was. Um, I had lots of guys with tattoos. You know, they just look so rough. You know, and I just want to. I, I want to live in a place where you have many middle-aged people, and you know, chilled out and relaxed. And not so, yeah, n n not all these guys with tattoos and, you know, <clears throat> there are kebab shops, um, Turkey, I saw a Turkish um, barber, Thailand restaurant, Thailand supermarket, Chinese shop here, Chinese shop there. It's very cosmopolitan. It's, it, it's like, a, like in London. I tried parking in the town centre. <laughs> Forget about it. Everywhere was yellow line, no, double yellow line. So I just felt stressed out. And, uh, you know, you know, I'm thinking, what's the point? You know, I wouldn't want, because when you live in an area, you have to think about the environment and the, the surrounding areas as well. And the place that I like is Dartmoor and Dartmoor is quiet really quiet some places in Dartmoor are really quiet and there are woods there nice streams and I want some a really soft feel I don't want a hard feel and I found places in North Devon and South South Devon they're quite harsh so but the middle is nice as usual I've gone to a house and I haven't been impressed you know they they kind of oversell see what I mean it's not a busy it's not supposed to be a busy road but it's so so many cars you know so noisy whereas 
you know, uh, Dartmoor, Dartmoor National Park, that area, you know, it's more peaceful. You don't get so many cars. Look, so many cars. And this is not supposed to be a, a, I chose a quiet place. So, uh, here we go, another car. It's supposed to be a nice, quiet area, but it isn't. Yeah, I was in the car having a tea just now and suddenly a stink wafted through the car. No, it wasn't me. It was like a, like a sewer, like a sewer kind of smell. I don't know, maybe animals or, you know, lots of cow poo or uh, bullshit, you know. I don't know what it is, but it's disgusting. It's like a sewer smell. Suddenly it hit me. The wind just blew it through, you know, from that direction, through the window, into the car, and I felt sick. Uh, yeah, you do get that from time to time in the countryside, I know. It's horrible, really horrible. And I was eating, I had my mouth open as well. Another one. I'm just worried that maybe I'm going to find fault with every house, every place that I go because I miss my own house at home I hope not otherwise I'm fucked bye bye wow so many, there's about 20 of them yeah, so cool so cool and on this side, some of them are jumping over, look. They're massive, they're so massive, look. Okay, off to another B&B, bed and breakfast. And I'll speak to you when I reach there. Bye. Oh, <laughs>